Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm the series Strategy Game and we are returning to our Democracy 4 Let's Play of South Korea, trying to turn the country liberal. Now as you can see I have changed up the interface here to a dark one because I have learned that that is a little bit better for uh, people who, well, do suffer a little bit from epilepsy. So do let me know your thoughts on this. It takes me a while to get used to, to be honest. Um, and also notice there is another option here which I think might even be a little bit better, although I think it's very muted. Uh, this is of course for colorblind people, but I think it just fits a little bit better with the dark theme. I'm, I'm not too sold on it, to be honest. I think it's suffering a little bit from the fact that these bubbles do remain light, uh, whereas everything else does get dark. I would have preferred, I think, if these things had switched to black and with uh, white symbols in between them. So. Let me know down in the comments whether you think we should continue like that or whether you want us to change back. I'll be open to either. Right, so let's get back into the game though. One of the issues I think that we are facing is popularity is great, but we are not making a lot of political power yet. And that is largely due to the fact popularity is good, but ministers only give us 8.5 political power. That's too little. We need more political power than that. Now, we need to make our ministers happy. Most of our ministers, actually by far the largest group, um, is on the parents. So we would want to make parents happy. What is par making parents unhappy? It's the respiratory disease. To get rid of the respiratory disease, we need to drive down car usage, we need to help the environment, um, and we need to drive down tobacco usage. So I would love to bring down car usage because it's still incredibly high, even though a lot of the th these uh, factors here are a little bit muted to, due to the fact that uh, we have a pretty good conversion to electric cars. Where's that? I think over here. Yeah, you can see electric cars are looking actually not too bad. So, nevertheless, I would like to do something. I would like to ban cars from cities, if possible at all. But to do that, we need even more political power, and that is sort of the uh, bucket problem. Uh, with a hole in the bucket and so on and so forth. So we'll need to address some things about that, but I can't is the issue. So let's see what we can then do to help out the parents. Now the other big thing here is the doctor strike. Doctor strike was triggered just about there um, since we did increase the workers, no, but workers on boards was fine. Uh, but since we increased the labor laws, people have um, been more open to strikes. And that is really, really, really bad for the parents. So this is something that we must absolutely address. And I'm afraid that there's only one way how we can effectively address that. And that is through the state healthcare service. If we privatize everything, the doctor's right goes away. Or if we keep everything fully state funded, um, the doctor's strike is going to go away. So we really don't have the money to fund that completely. You can see that would be a difference here. We are currently paying 14 trillion won. Uh, we would be paying, paying like 30 trillion more. We only are earning a surplus of 13 here. That's just not gonna happen. So I think the only way that we can go ahead here is by actually canceling that policy. And I really dislike that, but it is what we need to do. Um, so what I wanna do then is go ahead to the cyberbullying Increase that a little bit over here because it does help parents. It also helps the young people as only one political power. I think this is a fantastic and obvious choice uh, of the policies that we can do. Let me just cross it off my list over here that I do have in paper next to me. Next thing I want to do is I want to help out the environment further here because the environment, while doing okay-ish, it's at least doing a little bit better. It's not as horrible as it used to be, but we still need to bring that up. Uh, we are doing a lot of that for that, but still, I think that needs to come up even further. And I think one of the issues that we can do is hybrid cars down here. It's also going to help with the electric car transition. It's going to help out the environment in and of itself. It's going to increase environmentalist membership, which is also very helpful. And it's going to make them more happy. And it doesn't even have any downside except for, of course, costing some money. But it's not that much. So I think this is a good policy that uh, we can basically use over here. I think environmentalists are one of the more happy groups anyway, so if we increase their population that is very, very useful. Liberal people are counting at this point as mildly satisfied. Uh, I do want to keep some political power here because what we need to do then is, ooh, a couple of things happening over here. So first of all, cyber warfare is going away, that's good, but GDP is tanking and that is due to the flash crash. That's a whooping minus 30%. 
That's not great at all. We'll need to see about that. Okay, we've got a new party donor. That's good. Um, young bride students. I guess that's fine. We still have a surplus, so the GDP is not actually that bad. And sometimes it can even be actually helpful because this does have a negative effect on the environment, for example. And that currently, that should help out the environment here for a moment at least, quite strongly. And that could push us into a couple of good things, especially with the respiratory disease over here. So let's see what that does for us. Um, but yeah, before we go in any further, let's actually cancel the state healthcare services. That is, of course, a huge, huge issue uh, that we have just uh, incurred over here in, in terms of expenses. So it is what it is. I think we need to um, save up a little bit money there. And I think it will be helpful. Ooh, oh, no, no, no. I made a mistake because private... Jesus, I made a mistake. The private healthcare is directly linked to the GDP. And if the GDP drops, I mean, you can rely on private healthcare if you've got a good GDP, but if you don't, that is not going to be very helpful. So we'll need to see how long it will take here to, for that to recover. I think it's not going to be that long, um, but it's still pretty unhelpful. On the other hand, cyber warfare has gone away, so that at least is a good effect here. But yeah. Nevertheless, environmental protests should go down. GDP, not sure what's going to happen with the gig economy. That might be a little bit difficult to tell because it's driven by GDP. On the other hand, it's also driven by unemployment, which in turn, of course, is going to be linked to GDP. So not sure what effect is going to dominate there. We'll see, we'll see. We still have the skills shortage, right? Yeah, I think we'll need to address the adult education subsidies. I think I want to bring that up very quickly here because that too is having an effect on GDP. And let's save up some political power here. That's not good as it is right now. Okay, pollution is going down. That's that's lovely. Uh, we are going to, of course, attend this because it's going to make liberals a little bit more happy, which is great. Yeah, look at that. The budget surplus is only 16.5 billion won. Yeah. Okay, GDP is recovering though, so that's good. But what is happening to the private healthcare? It has a slight uptick. I think it's going to recover as GDP goes up and the state healthcare service, that is, that negative effect is going to go away over time. So that at least might be helpful. Ooh, respiratory disease here. Big, big drop. But that is, I think, to a very large effect because the GDP here will have, uh, sorry, the environment will have boomed which will come down again. So I think that is not a sustainable growth, but sometimes it's useful that for that to, to come into effect like that. Yeah, Doctor Strike, that should go away though, and that is gonna make the parents at least a little bit more slightly supportive. So that's good to see at least. And we are earning more political power, aren't we? Now, 19.6 still. We'll need to see, we'll need to see. How's the gig economy doing? It has dropped a little bit, but really not enough. We'll need to see whether we can do anything there. I'm I'm a little bit... I'm not too convinced that that is going to work out uh, as well as we intend. Right, I think we need to look at the adult education subsidies, though. Let's look at that skill shortage. I would have loved to get rid of that earlier. So it's also going to help a little bit with education. So that's okay. It's not the best. Uh, and I think we can afford a little bit to help other parents further. And that is by child. No, sorry, not one child. This is not a benefit. Do we already have it? And I just wanted to increase it. Right a minute. That's yeah. Okay, child benefit. That is currently set to basically nothing. If we increase that by a lot, we can still afford that. It's gonna make parents massively happy, which is great. It makes liberals extremely happy. That's great. It increases parent membership. Good. Socialism, that's a little bit so-so. Compassionate gender equality, I love it. Only a very small downside here in terms of the capitalists. So I think that's fine because capitalists, are they not that happy anymore? Might be that GDP will bring them up again though. We'll see, we'll see. Liberals also making them more happy is, is just generally a very, very lovely idea. Good. I think we could also think about how about the food standards here. If we increase that, liberal, yeah, plant-based diets, farmers less happy. Hmm, probably not a big priority. Not for now at any rate. 
We could go for, I guess, microgeneration grants would be useful. That is somewhere down here for the environment as well. It doesn't help the environment a lot, though. But it does bring out environmentalist membership, and I think that will be very useful before the election. And it makes them more happy. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think um, just helping out the environment is going to be very useful. Again, that's that's not a sustainable increase here, but we'll see what that really does to our effects here. Right, Doctor Strike has gone away. That's good, but Rare Earth Crisis is crumbling our GDP. Not good, car, and it's going to get rid of the tech advantage. Yeah, we need to... We should have seen that one coming. I think we did, actually, but it's okay. We're going to attend the gay wedding, of course. Uh, liberals more happy. That's great. I don't think there are a lot of religious people left. Some, but yeah, they're gonna go away just over time, just principally through the secularity of education. So I'm not too worried about them actually. Um, so that's good. How are the parents looking? You should be very happy by now, moderately supportive. And I think you're making our ministers and our donors more supportive as well. Although this is not coming up, it's pretty much where it was. Popularity? No, that's not a blame. We've got a hundred percent popular popularity so that is definitely not it respiratory disease yeah that's climbing up again because the environment is crashing back down due to the effects of the uh, uh, crash there but it's dropping to a lower level than it was before so I'm happy about that and GDP is yeah it's now suffering under the rare earth crisis but still all in all that looks a little bit better skill shortage that is at least dropping it's not gonna drop enough to be Getting rid of this effect, though. It's positively driven by GDP. Yeah, we do need to bring up education, but that doesn't do a lot. I think we need to actually increase immigration. We'll need to see about that, though. Right, so actually, actually let's look at reforestation. I think that's a good one as well. Environmentalist happy environment doing good. Respiratory disease dropping. Yeah, it's just generally a good thing. Right, what else then? Uh, we could ban coal, but I don't think we have enough uh, political power to do that. So I'm not going to do that. What I think we can do, though, is do we have yet yeah, this? Makes parents a little bit more happy, drives up bus usage. It uh, doesn't cost us too much, so I think that is useful. How's car usage looking? It's still driving up traffic congestion, but it's not actually doing that much against the environment anymore. And I think this is modified. I don't see it anywhere. But I think it is modified uh, by the amount of electric car transition. How's traffic congestion looking? It actually brings down GDP too. Interesting. Motorists are not that unhappy with us though. I mean, there are a lot of things that they dislike. But they're not actively super opposed to us. Other than the religious and the super wealthy. Which I guess is fine. Quantitative easing, you do like that. Small business grants. We could help out some of the other groups here a little bit more as well. Although I am mindful that the parents, that the parent situation is is a good one too. Let's save up some political power here and see what we can do. Okay, environmental protests done. Affair. That's not good, especially the trustworthiness. I think the conservativeness is not that bad. Yeah, but we are starting to see some some uncompetitive economy, and that is. Not that great, because I think we do need to get rid of the Eurea Earth Crisis. I'm not sure we, whether we actually can in sufficient time. Well, we would be getting 100% of the vote, though, so that's good. 19.4. I would like that to go up a little bit. If it was above 20, I would be super happy, because we could uh, do some of the big 40-point uh, changes there. This actually also brings down productivity, interestingly enough. But yeah, right. And let's go to public services. I would... Oh, economy? I think it's in under economy, right? And that is the Green Electronics Initiative. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. So let's fund that to the max extent possible. CO2 emissions are going to come down. Capitalists dislike it a little bit. But we do need to get rid of the rare earth crisis. There's just no way around that. Gay adoption? Yeah, of course we're going to support that. Liberals love it, parents love it. That is only good for us. GDP slowly coming down. I dislike to see that. I really do. But okay, fine. 
So how's the rare earth crisis looking then? Yeah, it's starting to come down, but is it going to be enough? Minus 26. It should just be enough, but it is kind of going up due to the year as well, and probably due to tech. So we do need to probably think a little bit about foreign relations too. What's, what's your problem? Middle income and parents. Okay, middle income people dislike us a lot, right? Income tax and inheritance tax. I think one of the few things you can do to help out the middle income is the mortgage tax relief. Socialists dislike that and poor people dislike it. Curiously enough, we don't have that many poor. It's only 21% of the population, whereas middle income is a whooping 72% of the population. So I'm not sure it's a good policy, actually, but uh, it just might be very helpful to score more popularity here. And poor people actually don't actively dislike it that much. Dislike the generational wealth gap, but let's do it to make him a little bit more happy. And I think the parents are going to not object either, at least. How's the threat assessment? Looking good. Okay, fine. We are nearing the next election. Maybe it's going to happen this uh, term. Uncompetitive economy has now triggered. Not good. GDP drops further. Capitalists dislike it. At this point, we really uh, do need to be a little bit concerned about that. Parents do love us at this point, though. Yeah, but we do need to take into account the environment at this point, uh, the economy at this point. For the first time, we are li having a stable situation where the respiratory disease would drop, but it's not enough, I think. And some of these things are now maxing out. There's very little room here for the environment to be brought up even further. Well, I mean, that's four percent point, four percentage points from the respiratory uh, from the reforestation. There, GDP is dropping. That has a couple of positive effects. I think it's also leading to less air travel, which we probably need to look at. Because this is... Uh, it's actually reducing rail usage. I didn't know that. But it's actively harming the environment quite a bit, actually, at this point. It's probably one of the larger effects in nearly as much as car travel. Because car travel is mostly based electric at this point. Oh, also, you're starting to look pretty upset as well. Yeah, you're, you're led by the capitalist. I would really hope that you can hold out until the election because at that point we have a free re-roll anyway but we'll need to see okay now let's actually check skill shortage dropping not dropping enough though uncompetitive economy is just based on the rare earth prices which is coming down okay some of these things are gonna solve themselves how is the gig economy looking at this point then yeah, you can see even though the environment, the economy is uh, in a lot of shambles, this is not actually doing a lot since the since the unemployment rate is probably counteracting a lot of these issues. Yeah, it's it's coming up at least. We will need to solve that long term, but I think for now, um, this is actually kind of okay. Now, what type of policies do we have here that would help with the liberals here? You're still satisfied. Do you actively hate anything? Well, it's internet censorship. Bring down your numbers by tiny scooch and you actively hate it as do young people. Okay, you know what? We're going to cancel that policy. I think the cyber warfare is going to go way on its own. And this is going to make liberals who form most of our population um, drop away too. So that is good. Anything else then? We only do have 10. So I think gender transition could be something that is somewhere over here gender transition yeah see we can agree that uh, increase that religious people we don't care about conservatives we do still care about they are still 10 percent or so of the population but if we increase that actually it's not going to be 10 percent of the population anymore and again liberals are going to be happy so i think we're going to do exactly that spend all, all of our political power here that's good oh cynical voters why why? So close to the election because it's big. It's a big change or what? Huh. I didn't think so. 
Drought. Food price farmers. Hmm, interesting. And we do have campaign speeches. You are in Sister Kate then that you're putting a punitive tax on superstars. I dislike that idea. I don't want to meddle with that too much. GDP is somewhat recovering, so that's great. You guys are pretty upset, but for now that's okay. This is dropping further, that's good. Environment is improving a lot, but I think it's due to GDP falling. So there's a slight delay there. But for the first time here, I'm actually kind of happy with the environment. And if that could drop a little bit lower before the election, parents would actively be over the moon. So that's that's a good shift here. Let's keep looking at these things. Yeah, that needs to come down a lot. Productivity must increase, I think. We could, of course, go for automation tax and so on, but I don't really like that. I think we shouldn't be... We shouldn't be so negative versus future development, so I think that's fine. I don't mind too much the Ludite rides. We basically don't have any crime anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, but I think we'll need to bring up immigration a little bit. We've got the refugee policy. If we are allowing, if we are more lenient, we would getting, be getting more legal immigration, less illegal immigration. Liberals will like it, ethnic minorities like it. Foreign relations, that's also going to help. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I think I like that idea. Uh, speaking of foreign relations, this shouldn't cost us a, mo a lot. Let's do bump them up. Just before I forget that at another point. Um, the citizenship tests, I actually do like them. Because they do reduce racial tensions a lot and they are making people a little bit more patriotic. Ethnic minority dislike it, but I think it's fair to have some sort of of limit there. Immigration rules, yeah, we might need to relax them a little bit too. Um, no, we're going to refuse him. He's going to um, get rid of us be just before the... Let's make liberals even more happy. Manifesto available, that's good. So how happy are you guys for now? In still 90%. But yeah, with the gender transition coming in, you're going to gain another 8 percentage points, another 4 percentage points here. Yeah, you're going to be 100%. What I'm really worried about is that you're not so... Why are you so... upset about us? It's really because we did that before the election. Look, guys, we didn't have the political power to do that before. Yeah, we're still hovering around 19 percentage points there. That's slightly, slightly bad. Hmm. Are we going to get rid of respiratory disease? It doesn't look like it. It ha looks like the environment has stabilized somewhat. And again, there's not that much that we're going to do over here. So I think one of the few things that we could do is on the economy ban coal. That would have a direct negative effect on GDP though. Eco-home relations are not going to do something for the environment itself, so that's not useful. Liberals like that, capitalists dislike it. I'm mostly looking for things that at this point the conservatives dislike um, because it just helps out a little bit. No, that doesn't help at all. Liberals actually dislike that, which is interesting. Socialists dislike that, yeah, but I don't want to upset the capitalists too much. We want to be somewhat centrist on the economic axis, but not so much on the other ones. Free eye tests. It's a good policy. Hmm. Youth club subsidies, you know what? Parents like it. Let's do it. Crime goes down, which is nice, but doesn't do anything for us. This is purely, purely cosmetic. Okay, no threat assessment, really. Uh, and we do have the election next turn, okay? So we should actually do some some electioneering here. Um, we are looking fine, though, honestly. So, honestly, we don't actually need to do anything here, I think. Uh, but let's do make parents a little bit more happy, because, again, it's always helpful to do that. Young people versus parents. I don't want to really upset anyone. Well, you know what? Liberals. Making them a little bit more happy still. At the cost of upsetting the conservatives. I think that's still good. 
I don't think trade unionists are the issue. I don't want to go with retired versus young people. Don't really want to go with the wealthy. We do have a lot of wealthy people. 8%. That's relatively speaking a lot. Yeah, but frankly, we could go for Patriots. You know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. It's free anyway. Unfortunately, still no way to skip this. But yeah, this is leading to a plus 12% there. You guys, parents, that's just super helpful because some of our guys still are supporting them. And this really doesn't do that much for us. Uh, but I think if I do look over here... Yeah, there are just very few people of, uh, of, uh, of, of that consideration, but yeah. Okay. I think all in all it's fine. You know what, let's uh, just get rid of this food standard agency. Health food price, it's, it's a long-term investment. It's not a big one, um, but I think it's a useful one. Right, let's see how the election turns out then. So, the Liberal Justice Wing versus the Reform Society. Yeah, they are getting, it looks like, it looks like they might be getting 500 votes or so. Ah, oh, even more than that. 700, look at that. 700 votes versus 60 million. I think we've got a very, very nice majority with, one, with actually 100% of the vote here. Um, who's voting for us? Well, farmers and religious people are mostly voting against us. That's not even true, even these two guys are actually voting for us, but by the least amount. Changes, that's good. Vote analysis, okay, yeah, that's simply begin the next term here. Some of you guys need to go. Who's not going to be uh, benefit us that much? Capitalists and self-employed. Middle income and parents, I do like the parents. It's, it's very easy to focus on just a few people. On the other hand, middle income and parents, I mean, middle income is not going to be that helpful. And you're only giving us 0.8%, so I think you actually need to go. Parents self-employed, I'm going to keep you. Conservatives commuter, you know what? You actually do give us a lot right now, but conservatives, that's just going to come down over time. Middle income environment, environmentalist is good, ethnic minorities is good, socialist and parents is good. Yeah, let's reshuffle that um, and let's hire a couple of new people. Um, I'm guessing transport first because that's one of the more important ones. Trade unionists? Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's not that useful. Anyone else? Trade unionist, socialist, conservative commuter? No. Motorist commuter? Mm. Doubtful of whether we're going to be super useful for the motorists. Capitalist parents. Yeah, I think that's actually a good idea. Law and order. So we got trade unions retired. No. Parents self-employed. Parents self-employed or environmentalist state employees. 1.5 versus 1.9. You're hired. And then foreign policy. We've got trade unions, socialists, no. Parents, youth, you know what, you're hired. Good. I like it. That looks like a, a much, much better situation. Ban livestock? Um, yeah, we're going to approve the ban. Farmers dislike it. International trade and foreign relations are actually going to come down. That, that I didn't know. And we did that. We did win the election year without um, fully being supported by these guys. But that's fine. Okay. How much are we making now? Excuse me. Are we making 45 political power now? I, I mean, <laughs> we only, we, <laughs> excuse me guys. Um, we have a maximum actually of 38. I think that is actually gonna come up because that's based on the last turn's maximum, I think. Either way, we do have a lot of political power now at hand. So I don't actually know what to do with all of that. But so yeah. Open for any suggestions that you guys might want to put uh, down in the comments below. Notice one thing. It is... We are we are limited to two terms in office here. So I think we've made great progress here. We should actually just look at the compass for a second. And um, where is that? 
No compass here? Yeah, compass. Right, I do really hate that this, yeah, but you can see we've become a lot more liberal and we've moved a little bit to the left here and uh, not in every policy, but yeah, we are sort of, we are very, I mean, we are, we are more liberal than Ayn Rand and we are more, we are, we are sort of centrist in, in the economic policy axis. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Do leave a like and all of that and I hope to see you around next time. Bye bye.